she's it's 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 almost impossible to imagine. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, unzip it. Completely new from base to lid. Take it apart, see what they did. The not skip base is the lowest you'll ever see. Touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop or mad it, buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail. Without technology, we would be creating fires with stones and sticks. Lock it, fill it, throw it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, switch it, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax, rename it. Using a manual typewriter that goes ding 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 ding. Introducing the LC8, world's smallest electronic calculator by Sharp. Price tag to match. Um, I have no idea where we'd be. IT is probably best viewed as the application of information age technologies such as computing and telecommunications and online information. So it's solving problems in just about any discipline that you might imagine. Information technology cannot be thought of as a separate discipline because it really cuts across everything that we do in our everyday lives. We're not focusing on technology, we're focusing on the jobs that need to be done and technology is making them more effective. What turns me on about the digital age is that you have closed the gap between dreaming and doing. You can't invest only in doctors or health systems. You must invest in a total package of public health. And the vision is a world on the alert and able to detect and respond to infectious diseases using most up-to-date technologies. With 70,000 patients at 18 different clinics, there's no way that you could keep track of who's who and what's happened with which patient if we didn't have an electronic database. WHO and Vodafone and the UN Foundation have moved ahead in providing handheld devices to public health and other workers in developing countries that are providing real-time information on infectious diseases. Better training, pharmacists being able to order supplies, doctors sharing their expertise in all aspects of medicine. It's a very, very good idea to get them wired. One laptop per child. That's our name and our vision. We want to create educational opportunities for the world's poorest children by providing each and every one with a rugged, low-cost, low-power, connected laptop. So for me, when I first heard about One Laptop Per Child, I was really excited because the technology was designed specifically for use in these developing countries. Probably the most important thing we see is children teaching parents. six-year-old child had been teaching her mother how to read and write. The reason you want laptops is that the word is education, not laptop. If all of us have, have a laptop, why shouldn't all the students there have a laptop as well? This is a business for her, but it's milk for everybody else. And suddenly I realized that a cell phone could be a cow, because somebody she could borrow uh, $200 from the bank, get a phone, and have the phone for everybody, and it's a business for her. Farmers can go to the local internet kiosk where they have access to a network set up by India's tobacco company. On the network, known as Ichopal, they can check prices and sell their products online. She was working at a yogurt farm, and they didn't even realize that they were selling their yogurt at a loss. 
they, they didn't have the capability to figure that kind of thing out. Um, and with Excel and other programs like that, it's very easy to do the math without training. And that's something that's only available with technology. We have poor people that are trying to start businesses. Through the internet, they created peer-to-peer -peer relationships. In three years, they now are receiving $3 million every month. 97% of all of those loans are repaid. So I get my money back, but I'm helping someone uh, get themselves out of poverty. When the poor affect the environment, and the environment affects the poor, there's a negative spiral, whereby we move from poverty to environmental degradation and back to poverty. In poverty, it's everything is about survival. It's about having food. Getting out of poverty, the women told us one thing, get us technology. Connectivity is productivity, whether it's in a modern office or an underdeveloped village. The implication of that is that the telephone is a weapon against poverty. It will speed up the growth. It will facilitate the communications among the people. It will enable giving the enabling environment in all sectors of the economy. Therefore, it is a mess that we do develop the ICT facilities in every country today. Where you live in the world should not determine whether you live in the world.